doubles and coffee no scientific data no scientific data to suggest that the increase in spread and death and destruction in Trinidad and Tobago taking us to the most deadly place on planet Earth with regards to COVID-19 under this PNM incompetent government. There is no scientific data to suggest that the safe zones, quasi-safe zones, whatever they want to call it, have encouraged, facilitated the spread of the virus that has led to such death and destruction that bodies are accumulating in every nook and cranny in Trinidad and Tobago. No scientific data, not from NASA or the Science Research Center or University of California, Berkeley, not from Rutgers or Harvard or Yale or UE Science Department, not from any private sector research lab, no scientific data says Terence Convent Gildial Singh and Fitzgerald at Talbot afraid to go in the beat them because they go bathe him with tutu water Heinz. Really? Well, we know there is no scientific data because the PNM has not been collecting data. The CSO statistics are lagged, delayed. The science, there is no science. There is not even record of those who come in travel pass. There is no determination. There is no information. There is no testing. There is no contact tracing. There is no analysis. There are no autopsies. There are no surveys to say what, when, why, where. So the PNM's policy since before the election in 2020 was do not test. If you do not test, you have no data. If you have no scientific data, you have no COVID, vote for me. That is the policy that continues. So I may agree with them. There is no scientific data because the PNM does not believe in data. The PNM does not collect data. The PNM is not giving us information. But we know. We are not stupid. We can see. We can understand. We can see what has gone on. The economy must run. But to call these things safe zones, when all the evidence will show that vaccines are just a tool to assist us in fighting the pandemic. It's not a magic bullet. It does not protect you like a bulletproof vest. The efficacy of the vaccines that we took, because the PNM said, don't get the Rolls Royce, the Pfizer back in March, of 2020, take Sinopharm, we'll wait for WHO approval, don't take AstraZeneca from Modi, don't take this cocktail of vaccines, take the CIO, and brands don't matter, but now we see in the science is showing that brands matter, because efficacy matters with regards to protection, so when you go into some zone that they want to call safe, that is unsafe or quasi safe, and you thought that you had two shots of a certain vaccine, but you're only 60% protected. Were well, you safe? What has caused the 1,000 infections per day, the 30, 35, 37 deaths per day? No science, no data. All of the scientific data shows that the PNM is the most incompetent government on planet Earth, that the number one place to die is right here. The scientific data shows that it is mandatory that the PNM must go, that Convent Gill must go, that Fitzgerald, Ethelbert, Pomsite, Rasta Hines must go. That is what the data shows. There is no National Statistical Office, no information, no data, but they are claiming that nothing can can point to any direction or conclusion because there is no data. There is no data because the PNM is incompetent and does not want to operate on data. They run this country by vax and the citizens are suffering and crying in every nook and cranny. RIP, rest in peace, is all over the social media because Trinidad and Tobago is the worst in the world because of Convent Dunsgill and Fitzgerald Pomsite Rasta Hines appointed by the double stuff dunce oreo who has disappeared stay wherever he is your tutu suit dunce kid christopher rowley